Are they all going after the same girl? Guys, don't you know never to do that? What's up everybody, DT Parker here. And uh, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, we are going uh, back to BTS's earlier days. Uh, this is Boy In Love, okay. Um, yeah, I think it's fascinating to see the boys in their early, their early days and to see kind of where, where they were at as artists at that time. Uh, kind of see um, what kind of content and music they were putting out at that point. Um, because you know artists grow and they and artists evolve um, as they as they kind of as they kind of move 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 through the industry and uh, move through their careers and so I like to see where you know where that where people start off from and because uh, uh, BTS is obviously on top of their game right now um, they're putting out amazing pieces of art um, every single year it seems like uh, but it's I think it's important to kind of see where they started and so I like to go back and watch these earlier videos. So uh, let's get into it. Um, oh, and also, uh, due to demand, uh, I'm going to be adding another day to kind of explore uh, new artists, groups, and music videos, etc. Uh, and that, and tomorrow I'm going to be uh, reacting to uh, the music video "Answer" by Atiz. Um, several of you, quite a few of you, suggested that I I check them out. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that video, um, but I'm going to be adding a little something uh, to my reaction. Uh, I'm going to be getting a little bit more scientific with my evaluation, uh, starting with that video tomorrow. I'm going to be kind of, uh, as I'm watching the video at the end, I'm going to be kind of evaluating them and judging them on certain, on specific criteria that I've come up with. Um, based on what I believe is the reason why BTS is so good. <laughs> and so I've come up with uh, five or six specific points that I think uh, that I'm going to be evaluating on. And uh, it's a segment that I like to call dope or nope. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, uh, starting that segment with a tease. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video. BTS's early, early days when they were bright-eyed and baby-faced. So uh, let's get into it. Boy in love. Let's do it. 2014. Oh, who's that? <laughs> they got they got Jimin in the bathroom. Okay, this is gonna be cute. They're so young. Very high school, very high school. Look how young JK looks. Boy, V is getting a lot of FaceTime. 
What was that moment right there <laughs> between Shamit and JK? a lot of FaceTime in this video. He's up front. What is Sugar doing to her? I think you're coming on a little strong, Sugar. Are they all going after the same girl? Guys, don't you know never to do that? It's Jin's turn. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay. Is this, is this how it is? The boys are so aggressive with their, uh, with their courtship. Interesting, <laughs> very interesting. Um, I, guess that's, I guess that's how it's done, huh? Is that how it's done, boys? Hey, you know. Whatever. Wow. Jin taking control. Oh, he's taking the sweet approach. Works every time. They're all going after her. This is adorable. <laughs> this is like the Bachelorette. <laughs> Okay. Okay, boy in love. Yeah, that was very cute. Uh, it definitely had a young high school feel. Um, I can see where they were trying to fit in in the um, kind of in in the industry. They're trying to find their lane and who they're marketing to. It's pretty obvious. Um, I noticed the boys wear black a lot in the early days. Does anyone know anything about that? Like, what's the reasoning behind that? I just noticed that they wear a lot of black in the early, the black bandanas, the, the black, uh, the leather. They wear a lot of gold chains. Um, it's just an observation, but I noticed in the early days they, they wore a lot of black. And they kind of still do to this day, but not so much. Right? Anyway. Um, yeah, you can tell BTS was in a very young place in their life right at this point. And that's the... That's the kind of stuff that they were feeling at that at that time, you know, young love, high school love, uh, you know, a lot of that cute stuff. And of course, now that I know a lot of their stuff recently, um, it's kind of it's it's very cool to see the evolution and the growth um, from when they started. And that's the evolution and growth that all of us kind of go through when you're going through high school to adulthood, and they are no exception. Um, and it's and it's uh, it's pretty fascinating to, to see the content and the music that they were putting out in their early days. Um, I like the song; it was very catchy. Um, definitely not as uh, as deep um, as their uh, as, as their later stuff. But who knows? I might have missed a lot of stuff in this video right here because you. I mean, even early even early on, BTS I'm sure was very very thoughtful and intelligent even as young men. And so I'm sh maybe. There, there could have been stuff in this that went right over my, my head that I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even notice. So, um, but on the surface level, it seemed like a very pretty, uh, pretty standard kind of young high school, young love 
kind of uh, pop pop star poppy thing, you know, K-poppy thing. Um, anyway, that's my opinion. The boys all look good. J.K. looked about he was looked like he was about sixteen. <laughs> um, but that's where the boys were back in 2013, 2014. Ah, fascinating, fascinating. Anyway, thanks for watching with me, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you tune in tomorrow when I start my dope or nope segment. Should be pretty interesting. See you soon.